Good morning po muli sa lahat ng ating mga ka-parents at sa lahat ng ating mga anak. Sa umagang ito, muli po ako magbabahagi ng video na kung saan atin pong pag-aaralan ang kanilang module para sa science subject. In this lesson, we will learn about the, the three state of matter. Before we proceed in answering the guide card on page 1, we will first discuss some important terms that we should know. So these are the some important terms that we should know. First, we have matter. So what is matter? So kids, I want you to listen carefully so that we can proceed uh, in answering the page 1 on your module. So listen carefully as I um, give the definition of terms of the following word. So number one is matter. It is everything that takes up space and has mass. So everything that we see around and touch, we call them as matter. Like for example, a pencil pen and an eraser. So we call these two as a matter. Matter can be classified into three states. So we have number one is solid. So let us uh, first be focused into this uh, number one state of matter. The content of our module is focused in the number one state. So what is solid now? Solid, it has a definite shape and volume. So solid, it is everything that we can touch, we can uh, characterize uh, the properties of solid according to the size, shape, colors, texture, textures, and weight. So, these examples of solids are hard and it can be great. And also kids, uh, you must also remember this, that solid retain its size and shape even it will put in a container. So, hindi magbabago yung kanyang uh, hugis kahit na inilagay natin siya sa isang container. So, those are the important, important things that you should know in answering the uh, guard guide, guard, uh, card guide on page 1. So let us now proceed to the number two state, which is liquid. It is a substance that is flowing and keeping no shape. So can you give me some examples of liquid? So for example, is water. And uh, other example other than water is milk. So, if we put liquid on a container like this and this, it will follow the shape of the container because liquid has no shape but follow the shape of, of a container kung saan natin nilagay yung liquid. Also, remember this, uh, kids, there are some solid that can be turned out into a solid. Let me repeat it, kids and parents. There are some solid that can be turned out into liquid or vice versa. From solid to liquid or from liquid to solid. So what are these examples are? From solid to liquid, these are the examples. We have uh, ice as solid and liquid as a water. So, if we put the water inside the fridge, it will turn, turn out into a ice. And vice versa, if we get the uh, ice inside the fridge, it will turn out into water. So, let us now proceed to the number three state of matter, which is gas. Gas, it has no fixed shape and no fixed volume. Gas is also invisible. It is only a. Uh, it is a something that we cannot touch, but we can feel it. Gas is also invisible. So, what are the best examples of gas? So, we have the air that we breathe. 
uh, it is composed of uh, oxygen and nitrogen. We have also the air vapor. Uh, example of this is the fog. Um, usually fog, makikita natin or mararamdaman natin sa bagyo, sa mabababang mga lugar. And we have also a water vapor. So it, water vapor, it is uh, the thing that uh, a boiling pot of water produce. So, so yung usok na lumalabas habang kumukulo yung tubig, we call it as a water vapor. So these are the examples of gas. So that is the content of the lesson. Uh, you're able to answer the page one to uh, one to uh, page six on our module. So let us begin answering them. On the what I know activity, uh, parents, you can read the instruction to your children so that they can. Uh, Write down or start uh, answering this activity. Read the instruction carefully. So let me, uh, let me read it first. Choose the correct answer. Copy the letter of the correct answer on your science notebook. But since we are, uh, we are now allowed to answer the, the other module, I think we can uh, put a line before a number and we can uh, write the letter of the correct answer. But if you want, um, you can ask the teacher on how they can uh, answer it. If they, it's either uh, writing the letter of the correct answer or to uh, just circle it. So I think, ready na po tayong mag-answer from pre-test we have only uh, five questions here so if you listen carefully to the videos uh, the, to the videos that I that we have madali na po natin maanseran yung mga tanong And we also have this following activity. Uh, inside the box, you are going to write down the solid, liquid, and the uh, gas. So we're going to group them according to the uh, state of matter. All the solid here, liquid, and gas. And the following activity, the activity card, we have... Um, different pictures here i think we have a, a, enough space to write down all the solids solid object in this is into this space so just take a look of the just take a look at the pictures and identify which are the solids and write down all your answers in this space And on activity two, you can uh, look around you. Uh, you can observe the things that uh, that are solid, and you can write them inside the circle. So you can look, or you can so you can uh, look to your surroundings and uh, name some solid object that you can find, and then you can write them inside the circle or oblong. Oblong, I mean. So those are the first part of our activity. Let us now proceed on uh, on page number four. So what you are going to do here? So identify the name of the pictures. All of all these pictures are examples of solid. So all you have to do is to identify the name of the picture and then write the letter or the name of the picture inside the box. Example number one, I think this uh, object that has a hole, it is a coin. So I will write down the word coin inside the box. And then 
the rest of the picture, uh, you can identify and they identify them by writing your answer inside the box. And also, uh, same thing with the enrichment too. So you are going to write the missing letter in order to identify the name of the picture given. So write down the missing letter of the picture that show in enrichment too. So how will you answer this guys? Inside the box there is a beginning letter. Those beginning letters I uh, stands for the solid object. So what are the solid solid objects are? So we have a puzzle at the back of that uh, activity. Inside this puzzle, we're going to find out an object, a solid object that we that begins with letter H, D, and G. So what are those uh, numbers? Our uh, letters. We have H, D, B, G, and C. So, honestly, nahirapan po kami maghanap kung ano ba yung mga solid object o solid object na nag sa H, D, G, and uh, C. Nakita, ko, nakita lang po namin dito is tatlo. Maghahanap pa po kami ng dalawa. Example, na nakita natin sa letter C is the clock. Yan po yung clock. So, the rest of the solid object that begins with letter H, D, G, and B, kayo na po ang bahalang maghanap. Diyan po. So, yung nakaguhit po dyan is black. Bigay ko na, sige po, bigay ko na yung nakita namin out na word. We have bricks, clock, and gold. So, yung palang punta itong nakita namin. You can now also proceed in answering the reflection card. Uh, madali na lang po sila dahil napag-aralan na po natin sila sa first part ng ating lesson. Sa so, reflection card. Another additional discussion that we must uh, learn is this one. So, this circle, uh, we call them as the particles. Particles can be seen in solid, liquid, and gas. So, what we have noticed here is that the particles in solid, they are kept uh, intact. So, dikit dikit po sila. These are the particles that we can see in solid. And in liquid, as you can see, the small particles here is um, medyo nag magkahiwahiwalay na. And sa gas naman, uh, those tiny, tiny particles are uh, keep the distance to each other. So, those particles, we call uh, those uh, circles, we call them as the particles. So particles that we can see in solid, liquid, and gas are called as the atoms or molecules. The small particles, po natin, the small particles that we can see in solid, liquid, and gas, we call them as atom, atoms or molecules. In answering the assessment, assessment card, let me uh, first read some statement. So, I'm going to uh, listen to the some statement that I'm going to read. These are the statement that I'm going to read. And listen be very carefully so that you can answer the assessment card. So, the first statement is, Particles of matter in solid are most compact while those of gases are least compact. And solid materials can be changed 
through many ways. Uh, for example, in the shape, shape, texture, and color. Solid materials can be changed according to the size, shape, texture, and color. Atoms or molecules, these are the tiny particles that we can see in solid, liquid, and gas. You can now uh, begin to, uh, to uh, answer the assessment card now. Same thing with the assessment 2. So you're going to write true or false here. So read the sentences carefully and write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. So that is the end of the lesson 1 on our uh, uh, module in science.